it's good to win. It's good to get the shutout. Um, it was uh, a hard game for us in uh, in different ways. Um, I thought the first 25 minutes of the game we were really good, um, and probably should have been up a few goals. Uh, we seemed to physically hit a wall at some point, um, and I told the guys I own that um, the the humidity of the night. Uh, how much we pushed them, not only in preseason, um, but early on, we've pushed them physically. Um, and and it, apparently tonight, it was a little bit too much, and uh, the guys hit the wall. Uh, the lack of um, quality was not because of a lack of will. It was just fatigue. Um, and the guys were a little bit tired, but um, I'm proud of how they handle it. Um, they, uh, uh, they fought through it and uh, still found a way to win. With it being about 95 degrees out there, how important is it to uh, have a game that they have to just grind through for uh, later on in the season? Yeah, I, I said that to him. I said mentally, uh, what what we did tonight and uh, not being as sharp as we wanted, uh, physically maybe not as sharp as we wanted, uh, we found a way to win the game. And uh, yeah, I'm proud of them for it. Uh, it's, it's a big win in that regard. Uh, you know, it's one of our goals this year is to, is to be good at home, and uh, we're two and all. So, looking forward to playing at home again on Friday. Did the fatigue worry you at all at any point in the game? Do you think it was going to get to him? No. You know, the good thing is we also have depth, yes. and the guys that came in, I thought, did a very good job as well, and, and gave us lifts when we needed it. Um, especially at the end of the game, some of the guys came in and made a huge difference. So. That's the beauty of it is, is even in preparation for uh, St. Louis, there's a lot of guys that didn't pull a lot of minutes tonight that could step on the field for us on Friday, and we wouldn't miss it. Tim Cavell was the second count. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> so he just got to hang out with you and the team and was here at Wentz Stadium for a little bit. What did he uh, say to the team earlier? Or before the match. You know, there was nothing uh, in addressing the team. He spoke to a lot of the guys individually. Um, and uh, everybody that had been here while Tim was here uh, embraced uh, him being back because of just his, his attitude and demeanor and the positive outlook. It was, it was enjoyable to have him out uh, today. Um, and I got some time with him. And, uh, so valuable to have some time to just talk to him about where he's at right now and what's going on in his life. But he's, yeah, he's, he's in a good place. Talk about, what uh, did you think of Will's effort all 90 minutes tonight? Uh, Will Meyer? Yeah. Very good. Yeah, we, we've said it all along. We have two keepers that are really good. You know, Jake was very good in the first game, and Will was equally good in this game. And uh, we're, we're blessed to have two guys that we can count on. I asked Will what he thought the difference between the two are. Is there a difference between the two keepers? Yeah, there is. Uh, there's a lot of differences. Personality, they're different. Um, strengths of, of what their gifts are uh, are different, um, and yet both very effective. And uh, you know, that's that's the the beauty of the game is um, it's not cookie cutter. Have you made a decision on who you're going to start on Friday? Not yet. No, no. but. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll likely continue to use both guys all season because they're both good. They both deserve to play. I feel like Kino was trying really hard out there. What do you think of his effort? His effort's awesome. <laughs> and, and, you know, and, and uh, he's driven uh, to be better all the time. Uh, he wants to go out and hit, you know, a bag of balls uh, after the game. You know, he has that mentality. He's just driven that way. Um, so he's he's a, a very important player for us, and uh, we love having him. One more, anybody good? Nope.